Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan, the photo book guru, and in this video I want to share with you my top picks or best favorite photo books of 2023. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. It's almost a tradition now that I share my top picks every single year with you and I think the best time to do that is around September just before the big crazy rush of Christmas when almost everybody starts buying photo books. With more and more photo books on the market it's getting even harder to make the decision where to get your photo book done and hopefully this video is going to give you a little bit of help with that decision and you might also find out about companies you didn't know before. Before I dive in and, and show you my top picks I want to clarify a few things. So first of all this is not an ad, it's not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid by any of these companies to include their books in this video. Number two, these are my personal favorites at this specific moment in time. It's not based on any kind of research or bestsellers or anything like that. I basically picked my favorite ones this year from all the books that I have tried and tested. This year I decided to break down the books into categories because some of you might be interested in one category more than the other and in each category I'm going to pick my favorite and then one or two runner-ups and the reason why I'm including runner-ups is because sometimes it's just impossible to pick one because they're so similar or all of them are so good and in other cases one photo book company might only be available in the US and the other one in Europe so I want to give everybody a bit of choice. So let's start with my favorite category and the one that I think most of you will be interested in What's the best quality photo book of 2023? This comes down to print technology and in the past few years I had to come to the realization that the best quality photo books are going to be HD inkjet photo books. The thing I like most about inkjet printing is that it has the amazing color range of silver halide prints but they have better sharpness and better clarity than silver halide prints. Now unfortunately very few photo book companies offer inject printing at the moment and the one that this year has come to the top of my list and the one where I think the print was outstandingly good is the photo books by MPix in the United States. And I've done a long review about their books and the colors are beautiful in these books. Very, very sharp print. You won't be disappointed. Last year, I included Photobook Worldwide because they had a really good Canon HD print, but unfortunately they discontinued that Photobook type and they no longer offer inkjet printing. So if you want to get the best quality print, go for MPix in the United States. Very sadly, they don't ship to the rest of the world, so you can't get these in Europe unless you use a forwarding company like I did. The second category is going to be material choice. Now, this one is specifically important for wedding albums and very special one-of-a-kind projects where you really want to make sure that every little detail of that book is uh, to your like. Now, many companies offer quite a lot of options, but none of them offer quite as many as ZNO or Zeno. I've got lots of books from them. Here is just one, which is a linen cover, a beautiful wedding album. And recently I've done a full scale review of all the Zeno products, all of their materials, all of their paper options and their products. It's a vast, vast choice. They've got at least 60, 70 cover options from leather, linen, vegan leather, acrylic, crystal, metal, fusion covers, and so on. Lots of different paper types, gilding options. You can choose the end sheets. You have lots of embellishment options, boxes, box sets. So, so many things that you can customize that I really had to put Zeno to the top of my list when it comes to material choice. I would like to mention two runner-ups in this category. One of them is Printic in the United States. They cater just for North America, so USA and Canada, I believe, and they offer a huge amount of um, materials as well, but not quite as many as Zeno. Again, beautiful silver halide books. I've done lots of reviews of this company as well. And the second one is Flipchap, 
who cater for the entire world. And again, they've got fusion covers, lots of different covers, flush mount albums, uh, lay flat photo books, and very similar range to Zeno, but again, not quite as vast as Zeno's range. Let's move on to the next category, which is going to be silver halide or C print. The reason why I put this into a separate category is because I know many of you will want to have that traditional print look, the chemical print look, because it's so nice on skin tones and nature photography. Lots of lots of companies use silver halide printing. In fact, I think 99% of lay flat photo books use silver halide printing, but you would think that the quality of all of them should be the same, but I've seen many different books and uh, the quality wasn't always very consistent. So this year, the one that really stood out for me, which had the, the sharpest details and the best color contrast was a smaller, less known company called Picto. And again, I have a review of their books, a separate review on my channel if you want to check it out. By the way, there's going to be links to all of these companies below. And their books, when I, I had this Panama book printed by four different companies who all offer silver halide printing and the one by Picto was the sharpest and the most detailed. So I don't know if that was just a, a one case thing to do with these photos, but I had to go with what I have here and Picto was definitely the nicest one of the silver halide prints that I have of this book. Uh, obviously, it's very difficult to do a side-by-side -side comparison if you don't have the exact same photos and the exact same paper type in every single book. If you have a matte paper in one book and the glossy paper in the other book, then the colors are going to be completely different. But all of these four books had luster paper and the same photos and the picto was the best one. The runner-ups I would like to mention here are Saal Digital for Europe. They are a German company and all of their photo books are lay flat and silver halide. And this one is a glossy one. You can see the colors want to almost jump off the pages. So really good print quality as well. And the other one I want to mention, which I've already mentioned is Printic in the United States, which is extremely similar to Saal, almost completely identical but caters the North American market. So Printic for North America, Sal for Europe, and Picto was, uh, I think they cater worldwide, but they had kind of the sharpest quality print in my test. The next category is scrapbooking and creativity. Now this one is very important to those of you who like a funky looking photo book, who love to put lots of things on those pages apart from your photographs. If you like a minimalist look, you're not going to care about this category, but if you want to put lots of stickers, lots of different texts and backgrounds and all of that, then having an editor which allows you to do that is really important. Many editors have come a very long way and they offer so much and many of them are so similar that I couldn't even choose but the one I picked here is the one that I've always picked for editors which is Mixed Books Editor. Now they were the first ones to kind of pioneer this very very uh, funky style of scrapbook style ed editing for digital photo books and even if I open this book here you can see even on the first page you've got background lots of text elements and it's just very very creative lots of stickers and it's so easy to use it's an online editor and you've got thousands and thousands of things that you can add onto your photo book it's very very easy to use so when it comes to editing and scrapbooking i would suggest mixbook the next category is handcrafted photo books now this one is very similar to the material choice but these ones are very kind of unique looking photo books and there's a lot of hand work going into to them. Now my absolute favorite here is Milk Books from Australia. Their photo books look absolutely gorgeous and they look so minimalist, such a clean look and beautiful materials that they use. Even if you go onto the website, you'll be blown away how nicely it's laid out and how elegant the entire thing looks. For handcrafted, Milk is definitely my favorite and it's not a cheap photo book, so it's going to cost quite a lot. And if you are outside Australia, shipping is quite expensive too but if you want something very unique for your wedding or just you know whatever reason then definitely have a look at milk books the runner-ups in this category are going to be artifact uprising from the united states 
which has very, very similar designs and looks. Not quite as nice to my eyes as Milkbook, but very similar and in the same kind of minimalist style. So that's uh, Artifact Uprising. And the second one I've already mentioned is Flipchap in Malaysia, who again offer all of those kind of handcrafted elements to your photo book, but it's a very different look to Artifact Uprising. Second last category is self-publishing and bulk printing. Now this one is probably the least relevant, but many of you might want to share your books with the world, publish them, let other people buy them, especially if it's a beautiful book of nature photography. I doubt you would want to share your baby photos with the world, but also if you want to create yearbooks or if you want to give at your wedding a copy of your book to every single guest so they can have the photos as well, then you might want to order in bulk. And photo books can be very expensive on their own, let alone when you order in bulk. So my first choice for that is a company that I think all of you know is Blurb who are quite basic when it comes to choice but they're really good sturdy photo books and um, the good thing about them is that they have very hefty discounts when it comes to bulk ordering and you can get your photo books into their own shop you can sell them on Amazon and lots of other online retailers so they, they have an entire network built out for self-publishing and they can print the books for you as well and it's a very good quality photo book so self-publishing and volume bulk printing blurb is my top pick and the final category for this year is going to be smartphone or app photo books. A few years ago, there were just a handful of photo book apps when I looked in the Apple store on my phone. And now there are so many that it's impossible to go through them. And I wouldn't even want to try them all because looking at the app, they all look completely identical. There's very little to differentiate uh, app photo book makers because it's very limited what you can do on the phone. On a desktop editor, you have a lot more control, a lot more tools to use, but on the phone, you can't have those same tools. So most of these editors just allow you to drag and drop, rearrange pages, and then print the book. Now, the one I picked here is free print photo books. And the only reason why I picked this one is because they give you one free soft cover photo book of this size every month. And all you have to pay is a very, very small shipping fee, but they allow you to, to print yourself one free photo book every month and you can't beat that. So um, that's the only reason why I picked this one. But again, I couldn't pick one which is the best because they are so similar and there are so many. And this was the last category. Now, I wanted to include one more, especially because we live in kind of a, an economic meltdown. I wanted to create one category for affordability, like the, the most affordable photo books. But when I tried to research that category, I realized that it's impossible to, to get into that because photo books are so personalized that every time you change any detail about a photo book, the cover, the paper, you add an extra page, you change something, the price is going to change dramatically. And every single photo book company in the run-up to Christmas is going to offer so many discounts that the price they advertise on the website now is not what you are going to pay. You might not even pay half of that. So a photo book that looks very expensive now might not actually be expensive and during the sales it's very very affordable and affordable photo books might not be so affordable compared to those when the sales is on. So I hope that makes sense. And that's why I didn't want to go into affordability because also currencies come into, into play and it would be impossible to pick one which would make sense and would give you any kind of guidance. So this was my top picks for this year for 2023. I hope you found this helpful and you saw something in it that you might have not seen before. If you have any questions about these companies, leave them in the comments. And as I said, there's going to be links to all of their websites in the description below. Well, happy photo booking and see you soon.